the most high-profile Western that I ever acted in was The Shootist, which was John Wayne's last film. And uh, it was... It was fascinating for me. I barely got to ride a horse, which was, you know, unfortunate. Uh, but getting to work alongside John Wayne was uh, fascinating. I learned a great deal. What I really learned <laughs> was an important lesson. Um, and I, I, and I, I relearned it every time I worked with one of the Hollywood greats, like um, Henry Fonda or Betty Davis. John Wayne had succeeded for so many years and maintained a high level of visibility and success because he worked really harder than everybody else. I mean, he, he just applied himself. And he looks like he's just kind of walking through these movies, but I would rehearse with him, and I would find that he, he was meticulous about it. And even using the sort of John Wayne-isms, like the hitch in his voice, um, uh, when he'd say, what do you think you're doing? Uh, why, he'd do it in a line normally. He'd do it five different ways, and then suddenly he'd realize, well, this was a moment to use that device, and there was something that would just draw you in to the character in the moment, or the, the, it would just make it feel interesting. And, um, and I would see that evolve, and it was, it was fascinating for me as a young actor to see it. I talked to John Wayne a lot about John Ford, uh, and, of course, they'd been very close. John Ford had even come and directed the second unit when, when Wayne did uh, his version of the Alamo. Um, and, um, you know, I think Wayne felt like he owed John Ford just about everything uh, in, in, in terms of creating him as a screen character. Um, and he said something which was very useful for me uh, on other films, Apollo 13 to some extent, but, but I really put it to use on The Missing. And that was the Ford's belief that when it came to emotional moments, um, you only wanted to, the character to ever go about two-thirds the distance in terms of fulfilling the emotion. You want the audience to take it that final third. And so that bit of restraint was something that was very useful in presenting a drama and trying to offer their, uh, some understanding and insight into just sort of how emotionally tough these people had to be in order to survive in that time and in that region. Uh, and so, you know, even in doing something as, as uh, emotionally charged as The Missing, and certainly it has moments where the characters are, you know, they're distraught, they're, uh, they're deeply emotional, but, you know, I always tried to keep in mind that restraint and, uh, and uh, that, uh, that, that John Wayne had quoted um, John Ford to me about.